What's going on, YouTube? My little community paper here at What's Stored to Rides and Customs. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a bill that I uh, just recently got started on. Uh, many of you, if you recognize this old AMT kit, this is the 78 Ford uh, 4x4 pickup that uh, I've heard a lot of horror stories over about this particular kit, but I've had it. Uh, I, actually, just, let's start back to where uh, reason I bought this kit. Uh, a few months ago, actually a long, uh, probably six or seven months ago, a good friend of mine at work, David, asked me if I uh, would be, uh, you know, if I wanted to, uh, if I could build him a version of his very first pickup truck that he ever had. And I was like, well, I think there's a kid out there. I just have to find it. But when you're involved in a lot of different builds, uh, whether for a group build or if it's a commission build or what have you, which over the last few months I've been involved in quite a few of both. Uh, I, uh, I only have room on my bench for just maybe two builds. So when I got everything cleared off, I got the uh, 68 Dart uh, kind of uh, ready to be, you know begin paint on it. I told David, I said, I got your kit and uh, shoot me some pictures of, of your old uh, of your old truck. So he uh, found uh, found some on uh, on Facebook, I think, it was, or Pinterest. I think is where he found that. He said this is a very good interpretation of what uh, the truck I used to have, as far as the color scheme, the layout on the colors, and everything. Except it had a set of. Uh, uh, kind of like the wheels you see right here on this one right here. So I was like, sure. I said, I'll be glad to do it for you. And uh, went ahead and uh, purchased the kit. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at, you know, uh, I've already got a pretty good bit of this uh, kit already assembled. Uh, we picked out the tires and wheels, uh, showed it to him uh, the other day. And then I started clipping out the parts. And I, he told me he did not want, you know, you know, want it wired and plugged in the whole nine yards he just wanted to you know be as close to period correct of what his original truck looked like so i am uh in the process of uh trying to make that happen for him uh we have not got anything body wise into paint but we got everything fitting uh we talked about you know this kit uh over the years i've talked to a number of uh builders that have built has built this particular kit and they say it is a horrendous kit. And I see some of the areas that I've had to work uh, around uh, in order to get everything to fit. And I'm still going to be kind of battling it all the way up to probably the finish. Uh, but uh, we're getting ready to uh, start the body uh, as far as getting everything ready to go into, uh, into paint. Uh, I've already got a pretty good bit. I've got the interior. Uh, uh, we're going to go with the red interior. That's what he said his original truck was. And then all the chrome pieces, all those are have already been cut out. But we've also, uh, I've already got the, uh, the uh, frame, the tires, the wheels, everything else is pretty much, uh, uh, it's ready uh, as far as that. Uh, we got the frame finished up uh, this weekend, or this week, uh, this is actually Thanksgiving Day, and uh, we I worked on it uh, last weekend and this weekend, but we got the motor, uh, just a box stock, little build, uh, fun, This I, I love building box stock, uh, kind of takes, uh, you know, it takes the uh, I wouldn't say the worry, but it takes uh, a lot to build, you know, as far as kit bashing and going, you know, doing the pro straighting and stuff like that. So I've really, uh, really enjoyed doing this particular uh, build for him. But uh, I'm learning a lot about this kit, uh, where, you know, where it's quirks and where it's, uh, but there's where we're at right now with the uh, just doing that. There's one thing that I am going to have to uh, kind of remedy is going from the transfer case back to the uh, uh, to the tail shaft of the uh, transmission. Uh, we're going to have to make a different uh, uh, a different drive shaft for that. So that's really no problem right there for me. And uh, we've done got all the detail painting done on it. So we're going to put this. Got the tires uh, mocked up and ready, or not really mocked up. This thing is ready to set a body uh, in a bed on here pretty soon so we're going to concentrate in the coming days on getting the body uh smoothed out get everything done on it uh getting that first coat of uh color on it we, uh, we picked out uh, a couple of nice colors for it we're going to go with the uh uh the ts29 the pure white from tamia 
and we're going to go with the TS-18, uh, which is uh, metallic red uh, for the uh, secondary color. And then we'll go with uh, a flat red on the interior and some black uh, and such in there. And I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put a little bit of extra touches on it for him uh, as far as things I like to do as far as flocking and, uh, on the floor and things like that. Just give it that realistic uh, look on the inside of it. But this has been a fun little bill. Uh, it's kind of uh, revigorated my uh, love for building uh, box stock again. I've really had fun doing this. All I added to this was the tires and the wheels, uh, which come out of my uh, just old parts box tires and wheels that I've had uh, hanging around for years. So, but that's what I've been up to over the last couple of days. And uh, hope everybody's having a great uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, keep uh, keep track of what's going on on this build and all the other builds on this channel right here at Fred Henry at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Go over to mcvproducts.net, uh, pick you up some of that good 3D printed uh, stuff that Matthew sells at MCV Products. And if y'all haven't got anything better to do with your building, sit and listen to my friends over at the Scale Model Car Podcast and uh, tell them that Pappy sent you over. Folks, if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Pappy out of here.